So yes, children, I've already dictated you uh, a dialogue between the customer and the shopkeeper, and now it will be followed by the blanks. You will be filling up the blanks with the help of the information given in the dialogues. So the first blank is, or the first line is, the customer dash vegetables. The options are. told the told the grocer that he wanted vegetables the option asked the grocer that he wanted the vegetables inquired if he wanted the vegetables inquired if he wanted the vegetables saket why are you not writing inquired if he wanted the vegetables and fourth option suggested that he should buy vegetables suggested that he should buy some vegetables Am, am I asking you what's the answer like this? First, all of you uh, complete up the statement given there. Done. Okay. Yes, Parth will give the answer. Parth, unmute yourself. Parth, yes. Prabhupada, write on the name of Parth with you. Write on the names of those who want to respond and uh, send me the names. Okay, Ravneet Kaur. Ravneet Kaur. Good morning, ma'am. Yes, good morning. Ravneet, give the answer. Ma'am, can you please repeat the options? Sorry. <laughs> because I don't remember what I spoke. Why didn't you write when I'm actually? Huh? Ma'am, actually, the first and the second option was somewhat unclear to me. That's why I'm asking. Okay. The first option is Arshin. The first option is told the grocer that he wanted vegetables. Second option. Okay, second option is asked the grocer that he wanted vegetables. So tell now, what's the answer? Ma'am, first option. What's the first option now you repeat? Told the grocer that he want vegetables. That is. Speak the full sentence that you don't know. The customer, the customer told the grocer that he want vegetable. Okay, you are saying the customer told the grocer. Yes, carry on. That that he he. Want the vegetable that we want vegetables. Is it okay? Now, Ravneet, you only do the editing of your own sentence. The customer told the grocer that he want vegetables. Do the editing. He wanted vegetables. You are asking me or telling me? When we have in the principal clause, when it is past tense, then the subordinate clause will also be in past. So he told the customer that he wanted. 
Okay. So both of the things would be in past tense. He told the customer okay. that he wanted vegetables, or that he wanted to buy vegetables, whatever, as per the question. Okay. Now next statement. Okay, ma'am. Okay. You can mute yourself. The grocer dash the grocer dash. What was the given line? One by one, Krithika. Yes, sir. You, we have got all kinds of vegetables. What would you like to have? Okay. Okay, so here is the sentence now. Fill in the blank with the information which was given in the form of direct. The grocer dash vegetables and further add asked dash. The option number one is that he has all vegetables okay for this blank first the grocer told the customer that he has all vegetables in the second option i'm making it instead of told i'm telling telling and instead of has i'm saying had and in third blank i'm making the first one as asked and the fear instead of has having and fourth option i'm saying told and had so what is correct so which option is correct somebody wait a minute you all write the answer i'll see your notebooks and here online arpit singh will give the answer Arpit. Arpit. Okay, good sevak. Good sevak. Karan. Pravgun, I hope you are writing the names. Then this uh, Tanushka. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Yes, good morning. Yes, uh, ma'am. First option. Hmm? First option told that he has got all kinds of vegetables. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you tell me what uh, what did I ask? Uh, who was that, Ravni? What kind of editing I asked Ravni over here to correct that um, when there is a uh, the first uh, um, sentence, then the be past form and the subordinate as well. Okay, now what answer you are giving me? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Is the answer you are giving? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? She is giving mm -hmm. the answer. Told the customer that he has all vegetables. So, Tanushka, are, are, are you sure that is correct? No. But why did you give that answer? So what's the correct answer? 
Okay, which kind of? Is it okay? Hmm. Ah. What would you like to have? This was a given statement. Like, what would you like to have? Hmm. What will be the now answer here? And further asked, what would you like to have? What kind of question is it? It's an interrogative statement. Starting with the wh words, it means that the no other conjunction will come. Wh word itself is a conjunction. So what will you say? And further ask the customer what. First you complete it, and further ask the customer, or further ask him anything you can say. And further ask him, what. Okay, now what. The given statement was, "What would you like to have?" Right? So you will make it assertive. What he, what you would like to have. So further ask him what he would like to have. What he would like to have. is it okay or is there still some problem in the sentence or mistake and further ask the customer what he would like to have then what should come talk in english don't talk uh, irrelevant things tell me why he should not come this very customer is he okay and further asked him what he would like to have this him and he are same people then why he would not come or shall we say like and further ask the customer what the customer would like to have it's not a direct speech it's indirect speech in the indirect speech you don't call you as you okay you and i change there the moment the day you will stop talking less when you will studying start studying more and focusing more these things are nothing then okay these kinds of questions come when you are not focused okay when you are lost so collect yourself first be a composed personality at this age where you people are now the biggest the only problem children get is they get lost where do they get lost in their own mind they get lost and the biggest challenge is to keep themselves composed okay keep yourself you know organized be yourself okay don't let yourself be lost okay so that's very important and when you are lost others come to know 
Okay, sit down. What's the meaning of being lost? When you start bothering about other things, that's the meaning of being lost. When you bother for other things, okay. So be uh, bother for yourself. Okay, work for your improvement. And the uh, task for self improvement is never ending. Okay, till death one keeps on improving. One has to keep on improving. Otherwise, you cannot uh, stay here. Okay. So, anyways, you are all sweet children. Just organize yourself. Stay focused. This is the high time. You have to do so many things now. So many things. Okay. The moment you will open up uh, your uh, work, you will start uh, analyzing the things you have to do. Then you will see that the time is very less. But that will be so far. You don't open up. You'll feel like oh, it's okay. I'll manage. Okay. But the things are unmanageable if you don't manage them right from today. They will become out of control. Okay. So many of the answers come from our own. So the uh, point over here was the grocer told the customer. that he had all varieties of vegetables and further asked him what he wanted what he would like to have so some children would have if i had given the option what he would like to had was that correct no because 2 plus b1 infinitive is always bare form of the verb that is first form of the verb okay now next sentence was what was he given okay now write the shop keep uh, the customer the customer dash vegetables the customer dash vegetables okay now prabhun will give answer Rabdum, raise hand. Yeah. Rabdum, give the answer. Okay. Rabdum's mic is not working. I guess. Rabgun, is there some network issue? Okay, this then uh, Aditya Sharma. Jyot Sarup. Okay, this boy behind me is. What's his name? Keshav, yes, Keshav. Speak louder. The customer told him, "Give Keshi of what? What kind of sentence is it? Give me a Keshi of all vegetables, na? What kind of sentence is it? Huh? Order? We call it order kind of sentence." What's the kind of sentence? Yes, Kushi. Imperative. Imperative. Imperative is a sentence which which expresses command, order, request, advice, or suggestion. Give me a kg of. It's an. It's a. You can say okay. It's a. It's an order, but shopkeepers or the customers cannot order. Demand. You can say. It's a demand. So what will you say? The. you can also say like the customer told the grocer that he should be given a kg of all green vegetables even that is correct or you can say the customer asked the grocer to give him a kg of green vegetables even that is correct
that is also correct the customer demanded a kg of all vegetables from the grocer so got it but it would depend upon the right choice from the options given but one thing is for sure like the, it is imperative sentence and accordingly you'll have to change its narration okay now right next now statement the the politician and the writer the politician and the writer dash been given an award not an been given dash award or awards yesterday got it the politician dash the writer dash been given award oblique awards yesterday so what will come in the dash yes pushy huh have why have yes when we say the politician and the writer it means that we are talking about two people so the two people will have a plural verb so have been given so the politician and the writer have been given awards yesterday but if i had said the politician and writer then has okay the politician and writer means one person the politician and writer has been given an award the yesterday so today please get the hard copies of the sample paper and solve them it is compulsory to have them tomorrow in the hands all online as well as offline students